should probably go. It's not safe here. Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. I've switched it on. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? Well, here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. I've switched it off now. I've switched it on. Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But... Will it... hurt? No. You won't feel a thing. Good. That's good. I've lived with pain long enough. But... I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. Oh, fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. Give me your arm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here. Put this on. Really? A wedding dress? I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress. And good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. But... Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? Yep. I shall avenge her. Mercilessly. How do I look? You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Was it a really hot, totally out of your league supermodel friend? Huh? Just kidding. Wouldn't want you to think I'm some big-headed, looks-obsessed, and really shallow, deep-inside person. Huh? To think about it, I'm probably somewhere in between. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, you'll have to try a bit harder. I want an honest opinion. How do I look? You look very nice. Ah, thank you. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So we do know each other, then. Not really. The guy who runs this place told me your name. And how did he know? Apparently, it was embroidered on your knickers. So he took them? Just wait till I get him. Freaking creep stealing ladies' panties. How did you die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two. But it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Yep, sure thing. Taking care of damsels in distress isn't really your thing, is it? There's a guy with a goddamn axe out there. It'll be all right. I'll try not to bleed all over you when he chops me to pieces. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message, a note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. 
Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Run! I promise. If I ever find your wandering body, I'll send it your way. <sighs> I really don't know what to say. I'm locked in? Who is it? The door's locked and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah? I'm calling the police! Whoever you are, go away! Okay. Don't panic, Agnes. We need to... We need to get out of here. Fast. Ignition. Lucky me. Maybe. If I put something heavy on the gas pedal, the car would break through the fence. Genius.
away, you stupid car. Hello? Who are you? I'm Ivy. Okay. Hi, Ivy. I'm Agnes. I'm terrible with names. So, I probably won't remember it anyway. Just say what you want and leave me be. I'm not looking for company. I promise I won't take much of your time. Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But... It's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. I know. But she will never let me go. Who? Shh. She... Sounds like a right bitch. Still, no matter how bad she is, I'm sure she's at least not planning to decapitate us, like the... like the other guy. You don't know her. She is the monster that keeps me here. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. 
She's a god and a devil. A trickster. A demon. Okay, okay. I get it. Good. Then get out of here while you still can. But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. It leads right through her house. But maybe... Maybe you can make it. I will make it. But you're coming with me. You can't help me. There's no way I'm leaving this room. This place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no! Well, if you change your mind, I'll be out there fighting demons. I wish you luck. Wait. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. You'll need to make one. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Thanks. That's really helpful. We have a perfect door handle. Welcome to my house, young lady. Who... Who are you? I have so many. It's hard to pick them, but the only thing that truly matters is who you think I am. An unlucky victim of lip augmentation gone wrong? Closer. I'm not as scary as they paint me. 